Hi Tinker teachers, Daniel here with Tinker. So in this next video, we're gonna walk you through how to add classes and how to add your students. So whether you have a Google, a Google account or whether you have a non-Google account, uh, we're gonna walk you through both ways to add your students. So let's begin. Okay, my friends, so here we are on the Tinker homepage. I'm going to sign in because I've already created my account. Uh, let me go ahead and sign in as a teacher. And we are going to uh, sign in however you sign in, whether it's with Google or with uh, your you know, Tinker account. I'm going to sign in with Google for this example. And then we're going to create a class. So. Uh, I have another video that I'll link in the comments below to make sure you know how to uh, link Google Classroom. But today we're going to set up a manual class, and this basically encompasses you know folks who use Google, folks who don't use Google. Uh, you're going to set up a class manually, uh, and today we'll call this Pi Day uh, class, I guess, just for fun because uh, you now that's coming up, and my class is a second grade class. So there are three different ways to add students uh, when you create a class. You can share a class code. Now, if your students already have Tinker accounts, this is one of the easiest ways to do that. You just click that, you go to next, and you write that on the board. Uh, when your students log in, they're going to go to their profile uh, up here in the top left, and there's a little link under their profile that says join a class. So they click that, they type that in, and Bingo, they're right in your class. It's really easy. Uh, let's go back, and there's another way to do this by adding student emails. So I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, go to add student emails. Now, if you have, whether they're Google accounts or whether they're just student, you know, school emails, you want to do it that way, we can, we can do it that way. And what you can do is you can paste in a whole bunch of emails all at once, uh, and then you can uh, go ahead and finish that. I've added four students to this class, and it will, um, if they haven't had accounts, it will create accounts for them, so that's great. Uh, if they're already in your school, and let's say they were part of a different class, then it would uh, add them to this class. So then we would, we would get into this part of the funnel where it says, you know, assign courses. Uh, but let's not go there yet. Let's go and show you the third way. To, to add students, and that is to auto-generate. And so I often do this some, you know, when I need to do this quickly, but if you wanted to do this and not use any student emails, and we will, you know, basically what we'll do is we will auto-generate student accounts for you uh, really, really fast. You can do a prefix, so let's say like Lancers, you know, like you're the Lincoln Lancers. Uh, you can then add five accounts here. We'll use a prefix, and then we'll generate five accounts with random passwords. Uh, so that's one really easy way to do it. I can then go ahead and type in their first names, last names, all that. Clear it if I want to start over. Uh, or if I don't want to use a prefix, I can do that as well. Uh, so I just take that out and then I'll generate five accounts without a prefix. And then what we're doing here is we're just getting given some random usernames. We can add those students. Now I didn't add their names here, but what I can do now is go into their students tab and I can update their first names, last names, things like that uh, if I need to or want to. So that is the three ways to add uh, student accounts. And there you have it. So you've created a class and you've added students in a number of different ways. So now you should go over to tinker.com slash training and join one of our free trainings. So we've got office hours, we've got live uh, webinars, recorded webinars, lots of amazing stuff. Uh, so go there and then when you want to share some great stuff, please uh, tag us with Go Tinker on Twitter uh, and show us some of the great things that your kids are creating. So thanks again and have fun.